Hello there my pretties, I am Groot Pickles. And today, me, along with the Lionel Sponge, are going to the movie theater. The movie we are going to see is, Ray and the Last Dragon, so we're all gonna go there. I will I'll be going with the Queen of Lions, Flegel, Tigger and Rabbit, the Teen Titans, Patrick Star, the Shadow Reader, Joseph, Boris, C.J. Lee Boy 64, the Shadow Diamond, Zack the Celtics Guy, the Protector of the Shadow Reader and Mystery Incorporated. Since we all have been harsh on Patrick Star for his pranks, we we all gonna give him a chance to redeem himself. To get to the movies, the Queen of Lions will have to buy us tickets to see the movie that we wanted to see. Once she ordered the tickets for us, she turned to our attention and told us that today, we will go to the movies. She also stated that the movie we were going to see is, Ray and the Last Dragon, so we all got ready and hopped into the line mobile. As we drove down the road, Beast Boy asked if we could go to McDonald's in the way. We don't have time for McDonald's Beast Boy, as the movie will start within an hour, plus we'll be eating at the movies. Robin said, knowing that Beast Boy is worse of a troublemaker at times. Patrick asked if we could have popcorn at the movies, which Shadow said yes, as that has the food that the movie theater has. When we parked the car in the parking lot, the Queen of Lions said for us to follow her into the movies, so we all got out of the line mobile and headed inside the theater. Once entering the movie theater, I can see long ass lineups for tickets. The Queen of Lions said that she will well, get the tickets for us, seeing that she pre-ordered them online. While we waited by the tables, Beast Boy saw the arcade section and wanted to play some games. Hey Robin, can we go play at the arcade? Beast Boy asked the leader of the Titans. Not right now Beast Boy, maybe after the movie. Robin said, I had a feeling that Beast Boy was gonna cause trouble, as he is immature in Teen Titans the original series. But in Teen Titans Go however, he still acts immature. Beast Boy starts whining about going to the arcade and wanting to play games, but Robin scolds him, saying that this behavior is unacceptable. And I will agree with Robin, as Beast Boy can't he always have things go his way. Once the Queen of Lions got our tickets, we all went to the concession stand to get our snacks. Most of us got popcorn, drinks and even some candy. The Queen of Lions also got us pizza, hot dogs and nacho chips with cheese dips. It was a lot of food, but all of that was so swell. Soon it was time to go to the movie auditorium, so we headed for the auditorium, where the movie we were seeing was playing at Theater 5. As we headed down the hall, Beast Boy saw a movie that was playing across from where Theater 5 was. At Theater 7 was a movie called, I Spit on Your Grave, 1973. Hey Robin, can we go see I Spit on Your Grave movie? Beast Boy asked. No way Beast Boy, that movie is too disturbing and it is worse than the Sweet Apple Massacre story. Robin said, then he and Beast Boy entered Theater 5, where we began to take our seats at the very back of the theater. The previews of movies were boring, as we just sat there looking at our phones for a while. Within a couple of minutes, the movie began and we started to sit and eat in front of the big screen. I was enjoying the movie, while eating junk food, as well as everyone else was. However, for Shaggy and Scooby-Doo, they had snuck in some outside food to have extra to eat, as they like to eat a lot. I stated the reason why they eat a lot in the last adventure, go watch it, if you haven't seen it. Shaggy and Scooby, how come you snuck food into the theater with no one noticing? Fred asked, Shaggy said that he and Scooby know how to hide outside food. Since Shaggy and Scooby didn't he really give us an explanation, we just went along with what they said. About 20 minutes into the movie, Beast Boy wanted to play at the arcade and watch I Spit on Your Grave from 1973. But, he knew that he would get caught regardless. He had to think of a plan, so he thought of one within a few minutes. Hey Robin, can I use the bathroom? Beast Boy asked, seeing that he wanted to go see the other movie for a bit. Sure Beast Boy, don't he fall in and take too long. Robin said, as Beast Boy headed out of the theater. Once he got out of Theater 5, he headed towards Theater 7, which had maybe 6 or 7 people watching, I spit on your grave. Since no one noticed Beast Boy walking into Theater 7, he sat on a row of seats with no one there. A few minutes later, Beast Boy still hasn't come back to the bathroom, and I wonder where he went. Uh, friend group pickles, where is Beast Boy?
He should have been back from the bathroom by now, and it has been ten minutes. Starfire said. Well, that is very odd, I wonder, where he could be? I asked. Maybe he has got the case of the runs, if you get the idea. Space Voyager 1701 said, which may be the answer. Would anyone go and see where he is, and see if he is okay? Shadow Diamond asked. I volunteered to go and find Beast Boy. I exited out of the theater and headed towards the bathroom. The bathroom was near the concession stand, where I would enter to get food and tickets as soon as I approached the boys' bathroom. I called out to Beast Boy from the inside, but I heard no response, so I walked inside. Seeing that I needed to use the bathroom as well, after I did my business, I looked around the boys' bathroom. After a few minutes of looking for Beast Boy, I had no luck finding him. Then I realized that Beast Boy must have snuck into Theater 7 to watch I spit on your grave. I headed out of the bathroom and towards Theater 7 as soon as I entered the theater. I ignored the movie as much as I could, then dragged Beast Boy out of Theater 7. By the time we were in the hallway, I slapped Beast Boy as face silly and began to scold him. What the hell were you doing Beast Boy? I asked, sounding annoyed and pissed off with him. I was just longing to watch some of that R-rated movie, why? Beast Boy asked, I know, that Beast Boy was most likely gonna start something. So I had to end it before it got worse. Oh my god Beast Boy, you would regret watching I spit on your grave, as that is a shock movie. I said to him, knowing, that this is for his own good. Why is it a shock movie? Is it like the human centipede? Beast Boy asked, dumbfounded by what I stated, I face pond in frustration. Oh my god, are you that stupid Beast Boy? I spit on your grave is worse than the human centipede, and I have watched that movie once, and it gave me PTSD when I first watched it. I dragged Beast Boy to Theater 5, after I stated how bad I spit on your grave was, then I told the Lionel Sponge members about what Beast Boy did. And Robin was unhappy with Beast Boy. When the movie had five minutes left before it ended, Beast Boy asked to go to the arcade. Robin sighed and said fine, then handed Beast Boy some money to get tokens at the arcade. After the movie was over, the Queen of Lions said that we can head over to the arcade. So we all headed down there to catch up to Beast Boy. When we got to the arcade, we all were playing games for fun. We all got some tokens, then we all headed over to play games. The Queen of Lions, C.J. Lee Boy 64, Zack the Celtics Guy, the Shadow Diamond, the Protector of the Shadow Reader and Space Voyager 1701 all played a shooter game in one station. Patrick Star with the Shadow Reader and Joseph were playing basketball with Boris. Starfire, Cyborg, Robin and Raven were playing the claw game with the help of Tigger, Rabbit and Flegel to get prizes. And Scooby and the gang were getting some ice cream at the Dippin' Dots vending machine before playing games with us. Beast Boy asked me if I wanted to play a game of air hockey with him, which at first I was hesitant. Seeing that Beast Boy gets upset when he loses at games, I decided to play the game with him. After I put the tokens into the game, me and Beast Boy started to play air hockey. I was good at air hockey since I played the game with Space Voyager 1701 last week. So Beast Boy was losing, as I was a better player than he was. After a couple minutes of playing air hockey, I won the game. However, Beast Boy was raging mad at this point. I knew this, since he was growling and muttering words to himself, and I had a feeling that he was gonna explode with anger. And what happened next was something we will never forget. Beast Boy shape shifts into a gorilla, and picks up the air hockey table, then throws it onto the ground, it smashed into bits. Everyone stopped and stared at what Beast Boy did. We all had angry faces at Beast Boy, he shapeshifts into his own self. Beast Boy knew he was busted, so Robin stood in front of him, looking the most pissed off out of everyone. Beast Boy. Robin shouted angrily, making everyone in the arcade cringe. The staff of the movie theater had kicked Beast Boy out, as we explained to the staff about what happened. After Robin and I explained to the staff on what happened, they agreed that Beast Boy throwing a fit over loosing is very dumb and immature of him. As soon as we walked out of the movies and into the parking lot, Boris was instructed by everyone in the line of sponge to give Beast Boy a punishment day, which he agreed to do. Oh! 
Beast boy, how dare you throw the air hockey table on the ground and smashed it. You know that it is destroying property, so you will be buying the theater a new air hockey table. And furthermore, you will also be getting a punishment day, with permission from everyone in the line is punch. Boris said, which Beast Boy pleaded to Boris not to give him a punishment day, but Boris didn't he care at all. And that, my pretties, was our trip to the movies. I hope you all enjoyed this adventure as much as I enjoyed it. The trip to the movies went so swell, until the part where Beast Boy throws a massive fit over losing at air hockey. We weren't he happy when he smashed the air hockey table, but Robin and Boris will make sure that Beast Boy pays for the damages of that air hockey table. And he will be buying a new one for the movie theaters arcade, and Beast Boy will get his punishments from Boris. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications when the Queen of Lions uploads a new video. So my pretties, I will see you all next time, and roll the outro, because I am out.